Today, we're doing, well, it didn't have a name. We found the lift and the creator, Lucian. Sam, you said it was a jack squat. Well, I thought it was, it looked like, uh, you remember the game, Jacks? Yes. The goal of jacks is to scoop up the correct number of jacks. It looked like a jack with uh, barbells and a person in the middle. It requires two bars and some space and some, probably some collars that don't slip off. So I've never yeah. tried this lift, all right? I uh, studied it for a bit beforehand. That is how he did it. I can see that the setup is gonna be, This is gonna be a challenging thing to set up for when there's more weight. Right now we got 75 pounds in each hand, which is what? what? I think I saw him. He had the weights kind of like this, staggered. Kind of, yeah, he had them closer together, I think. And he was grabbing here to start. And then he, he sat back, and it looked like he had trouble getting his balance, so that might be the hard part. But he sat back. Holy Nike. Oh, yep, and it crosses. I feel like a villain from Spider-Man. You are. Dr. Octagonopus. Okay. Then you just squat with it. The squat's the easy part. It looks cool. So do you guys see the jack part now? All right, um, and then he was able to put it down. It looks like he didn't have too much trouble with that. Ah, it's tearing my skin apart. He did have a shirt on. You know, not to take anything away from him, but. Ah! Not to take anything away from him, but he's not six weeks out from a bodybuilding show, so. Oh, you gotta look a little juicy and like a beef jerky. Woo, hey guys, have you joined the flock yet? We're doing live streams now on YouTube. We've been doing about one a week. We're gonna come up with a more consistent schedule, but our live streams have been improving and pretty soon we're gonna be doing special members only streams. So click the link in the description below and check out our live streams because we put a lot of work into it. Check out the six, sick, six, six camera setup we got going on. We got POV cams, we got green screens. We got, it's just a lot of fun. We're gonna bring on guests to the show. You've finally gotten some relief from the sun for a moment. We're outside because it looks better for footage. That's the only reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There is something that is similar to the video that you did with Joey with the bazooka lift, right? It's exploring the joy of movement. My favorite part about these lifts, and you probably took a note of it, is when I'm doing them, I'm decoding them. This is tapping into that kind of, you know, exploring tricks when I used to do the acrobatic stuff. Part of the joy of that was just trying to decode and, and learn how the stuff works. I like doing that for this stuff. I like figuring out where the hands are supposed to go. I like figuring out where the body goes because after a while, deadlifts and squats and you know bench press, you kind of know where everything goes. And then after that, it's just a matter of strength. But when you're trying new lifts, you don't have any context of how strong you are. It just looks theatrical, it's fun. You don't have expectations and it's just, it's fun. Just try it, you know? Get out of your own head. Get out of my own head. With that said, Sam. Try to do another attempt. Let's go. All right, I gotta figure out how to get this thing started better. What do you guys think? Have you tried this lift? Probably not. Try it, let me know. Go out there, get you a couple barbells in the gym. Wreck some shit. Let's do this. All right. Oh, it must be a calling for a jack squat challenge. Afraid to drop it. I'll just keep squatting it. Got it. Oh, guillotine. Guillotine squat. Guillotine position. Elevating Deegan. Look at the power. Oh, shoot. Sam. Oh. Damn. That'll. No, chop your neck off. I need to study this a bit more. I think that might have been a comment in, uh, in the video. What? Guillotine. Squat. 
Ah. What's going on? Something's wrong with my phone. I'm trying to study this lift to get a little more insight on how to do it. And what, what? What's going on? I think my phone got hacked. What do you? Why? What do you see? I see lobster oven mitts. Oh wow! That's oh. Oh, I know what happened now. I forgot to turn on threat protection from NordVPN. What threat protection, you ask? Well, it's the newest feature from NordVPN. Threat protection protects you from malicious websites, downloads, trackers, intrusive ads, and intrusive oven mitts. Yeah, that's some very aggressive lobster marketing. Yeah, I don't think this has been humming with the jack squat. Secure your internet today with NordVPN. All your internet data stays safe behind a wall of next generation encryption. And you don't need to sacrifice speed for security. NordVPN gives you both with an ultra fast connection. And you can use it with ease. It's just a click. Well, I'd show you how it worked on this, but looks like I'm stuck with oven mitts that look like lobster hands right now. I think that might be a sign. <laughs> NordVPN is so easy to use, it's a lot easier than a jack squat. Take control of your internet experience today with NordVPN. Right now, Nord has a two-year plan on a huge discount. Plus, you can get one additional month for free by going to nordvpn.com slash juji. And it's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. That is nordvpn.com slash juji, or click the link in the description below. Ready to do this jack squat? Are you ready to do this jack squat? I hope so. All right, we got 155 pounds per hand. So this is a big weight jump. I gotta get this. 300 pounds is a good bitch part. That's, what is that? That's 310. That's 310. That's, that's a good bitch part. I gotta at least eat that. These uh, knee wraps are more trouble than they're worth, so I'm gonna move on to sleeves. Light, some light sleeves, yeah. There you go. I don't know if I can get them. Dagger. Nothing works that way. I think I'm just going to have to grab it and lean into it and hope for the best. Brute force time. Did the jack squat win? I'm gonna do this. I have to just set it up correctly. It's, they're too far out here. There's, there's no way I could've got that. I figured it out. Yep. Now watch. He has one of them sitting on top of the other one on the plate. How did this go? This one, this one is off the ground. Yep which means it's sitting on top of this one in the air. If you look real closely at that clip, it's not actually on the ground when he starts. Guys, if you want to try goofy lifts, I would not suggest starting with this one. This is not the easiest thing I've done, that's for sure. Got it. There you go.
bum. Very good. And uh, what people do not know is that you still have a bodybuilding workout to do. I gotta do legs after this, a real workout. Uh, setting myself up for success. Ooh, okay. Hey, Sam. Hey, what? I don't think I've ever asked you this question. Yeah. I think me and the audience here would be interested to know your opinion on, you know, how do you feel when you watch me do this stuff? Are you afraid I'm gonna get hurt? Or, or are you, I mean, what, what goes through your head? I, I think it would be silly if I didn't say it was, wasn't scared that something could happen, but I also do trust your judgment because you do have a very good sense of awareness into your body and what you can achieve. So I just have to trust that you know where your body is at that time. And if something happens, we can handle it. Huh. So what you're saying is you're not worried about me. I'm worried, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I also trust your, your own assessment. That's one of your skills that maybe people don't know that you have, or maybe they don't know how to be successful with these odd lifts is just to know your own body and have that sense of insight and awareness and also know when to pull back and when you can push forward. I'm good there. Guys, I tried to figure this lift out, but this is, the setup is a, a real pain in the butt. But it's also the, the sun and the environmental factors too. I'm doing that for you. I'm doing that for you guys so I don't spend all my time in, the, in an insulated, protected, air-conditioned uh, gym. Hyperbolic chamber. Hyperbolic time chamber. Just helping me grow. You know, I remember doing workouts out here for summers. It's really hard to put on mass when your body is spending so many of its resources just staying cool. I noticed that when we started working out in the air conditioned room, I was able to add an inch, inch and a half to my legs in a year. I was able to actually fill out better. I'm, I'm bigger than I was last year. I've done a good job meeting my bodybuilding goals. So if you uh, have any idea on how to make this, other than putting a spacer in between the plate on the bottom to offset it, that solution aside, I thought of that. I didn't want to go that route. What what would make that lift work better in the setup? Because I had trouble figuring it out. Let me know. Are there any other strange lifts that you guys would like to see? Mention it. If you guys want to, if you guys agree with that person, upload it. We'll maybe do a video on it. We already did a bazooka deadlift video, which is really exciting. That lift is a lot easier than these. Holy shit, this lift is a lot harder than that. Thanks to Tommy Gaines. Thanks to Tommy Gaines. And if you guys are wondering how I don't hurt myself doing this, I wrote a book on injuries. This is how I, I stay injury free. I have, like Sam says, I have pretty good instincts. I have actually some of the best instincts when it comes to my body and knowing its limits. So this is how I'm able to do all this stuff. And if you want to stay safe, get the book, join the live streams, all the other stuff that I can plug at the end of the video, comment below, subscribe, like, all this stuff I forgot to say in the middle of the video. And stay tuned for the next, <laughs> uh, what, six weeks, and then you'll be doing a show. Yeah, the next video we're having some new equipment come to the gym. So oh, <laughs> let's get the hell out of this barn and go back down there and put some new new bodybuilding equipment in place. Let's do that now.